steak and taters. Come to my part of the Midwest, it seems like this is the only thing people know how to cook. You put a little whiskey barbecue in it and you get all the dads from Ohio to Iowa excited. We like these preservatives, I like to keep Ohio out. These look more like beef chunks. Tasty and healthy. Well, they did manage to keep uh, the salt out. But this ingredients list is a little bit long for being steak, potatoes, vegetable. I mean look, buy new product. Do they need it? Probably not. Does it help them sell more beef? Probably. He smells not great. I'll try it without the sauce first. Good bit of variance in the size of the potatoes. I do really hate plain white potato though. And the skin on them is a little bit chewy. I don't really know what the binder product is on these. They're about as tender as the Jack Link's tender bites. It yeah, pretty much tastes like steak. Even comes with your Midwest side of corn. Still crunchy too. Yeah, the sauce seems to be more like a glaze. I'm regretting dumping everything into it. That might just be one of the worst barbecue sauces I've ever had. As far as the whiskey part, uh, it's got a little bit of a smoky hint to it. You know, it's usually the aftertaste that uh, is not very good on things, but this opens up with a sweet punch and that is not good. It's like if you took a bite of an apple and then licked a bunch of barbecue sauce. Maybe they're trying to be sweet baby rays, but yeah, just not doing a good job at it. Can someone explain to me why this potato looks like that? Taken potatoes? You know, they're alright. The sauce? Get it out of my sight. The meat is potatoes? I'll give a 5 to. You know, they're not bad, they're not good, but it'll get you through. The sauce, on the other hand, it's getting a 2. For I'm concerned, it just ruined the rest of these. Can I 